So the other day, I got this article that intrigued me, which said that you could downgrade the iPad 2 to iOS 6 directly through iTunes. So I had to check it out, so I went on IPSW's website, and you can. So I dug out my iPad 2 from the closet and decided to give it a shot. Found my old 30-pin cable hidden in my desk, and went ahead, plugged it in, and decided to charge it up and see what I could pull off. And it turns out there is some actual truth behind this. So I had this on iOS 9.3.5, and it's very slow, laggy, and choppy, and it was just driving me nuts. Now, this was kind of a gift kind of iPad, so it didn't really bother me that much, but in the long term, I wanted to go ahead and see if I could do this. Now, one of the only downsides that I had with this is that I was going to have to give up my huge Apple Music collection. But speed over Apple Music collection, I figured why not try to revitalize this iPad and put it to some good use. So I went ahead and dug out my laptop so that I could do this. So what you're going to need to do is go to your browser and you're going to go to ipsw.me.com and it looks exactly like this and you're going to find the device you're after. In my case, it's an iPad 2, so I scrolled all the way to the bottom and found the iPad 2 GSM uh, model. From there, I went ahead and selected the firmware that I wanted to downgrade to and hit the download button. You'll see it pop over there in the lower left-hand corner of your screen. Once it was finished downloading, I just went ahead and dragged it to the desktop and let it finalize itself there, opened up a copy of iTunes, plugged in the iPad 2, and we were off to the races. I hit the Get Started button, set up the iPad through there, and then you have to click the Restore button. So click Restore, not Downgrade. Then you're going to go in and select the Restore Firmware, and it's going to go ahead and get started. The iPad 2 will automatically turn itself off as this happens. You don't have to go into DFU or anything, and the restore process happens. Now, this clip here is greatly sped up. This took a little while, but as soon as it's done, you're going to see the iPad restart on iOS 6. It takes about 20 minutes or so to do this. Then you just go ahead, set it up on your Wi-Fi network like you would any newer generation iPad. You can set up your location services to your preference. I went ahead and set it up as a new iPad, but you can try to restore. Uh, then it's going to have you sign into your Apple ID, agree to terms and conditions as normal, set up your messaging services, and uh, after that you're pretty much set and ready to go using your iPad. You'll see all the classic iOS icons from five years ago back on my iPad. It was pretty interesting to see this. Now if we dive into settings and we head to the about menu you'll see that this iPad is in fact running iOS 6. So if this helped you out make sure you subscribe and check out some other videos.